Oh. Yeah, just hand a lightsaber to a yeah, child. That's the on button. <laughs> hey, kid, you ever seen a gun before? <laughs> Dude. Yeah, look down the barrel real quick. These outfits as well. <laughs> oh, yeah. They look like Ozzy Mandy's from Watchmen. It's like this. I mean, I, I wore something like that in quiet. Oh! Oh! Ooh, he doesn't Ooh. like it. Oh, yeah, no, oh, this is not good. Is who's going to shave my head tomorrow? <laughs> but, like, you don't oh, even know snap. who's harnessing yeah, yeah, the power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's that. what's so baller. And it's it's not like she's doing this. Yeah. And if you want to it's, just whoever, just to come back. it's whoever was laughing earlier. That's who's doing it. <laughs> Dang, he is, he's not going to be the same when he wakes up from this. I like Dude. an R being great. Yeah, I do like an R a lot. I want more. No. Yeah. Let him go, please. <laughs> Yes. Ooh. Oh. Oh. He's seen some things. Look at him. Who touched me? Who touched me? Like, what happened? What Where's my wallet? Where's Where my wallet? Where am I? Is he recovering from that? We don't know. We, we don't, don't know. know. Welcome back to the after show here on the break room. This time for the Acolyte episode three. Hit that graphic. And what an incredible graphic that was. Woo. We saw it. That's right. Today we're talking about episode three of The Acolyte, where we take a trip to the past to see just how bad these Jedi screwed things Ooh. up. You would think we have, you would have think we would have learned more about this show from seeing the past, but we're left with only more questions. What were these Jedi thinking? What the heck is the thread? And where do babies come from? We'll get into all that and more. I'm Brandon Barrick, and joining me today, she's totally ready for the ascension. It's Maude Garrett. <laughs> <laughs> you get a cool uh, tattoo. Oh, wow, this yes. is sick. Wow. <laughs> Mom, you missed it up. It's on the side of my head. It's supposed to be in the center. You screwed up, Mom. <laughs> and it's not just about uh, the power of one guest. It's about the power of two and the power of many. And it's Tom Michelson. <laughs> oh, okay, thank, thank you for that, Brandon. <laughs> That's the power. Yeah, yeah. what's, what's harder for an actor to do? The, the thread or like uh, Scarlet Witch manipulations? A uh, Scarlet Witch manipulation, because that actually has to look like it's doing something. This you can just. Yeah, this is like an you improv can pretend you're, red yeah. ball. Exactly. You can. Yeah. Improv red ball, and then you're. Oh, you got the ball. Yeah, oh. but this one is like. It's also a Kamehameha. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Right. Depends Hadouken. where you get it from, you know? She did. She started off with one of these, and I was like, wait, we've seen this. <laughs> oh, yeah, we <laughs> have. Magic, huh? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> well, we're going to talk about this episode today, and we'll get into all the horrible things that these four Jedi did to make May target them, and what really happened on Brandok uh, with the Anasea family, and who this mystery villain is, and all that, and if they're Sith or whatever, and who they're really feeling themselves. We'll get into all of it, but before we do, Maude, kick us off with a bit of a recap. I would love to. It is time for a history lesson as we open on Brendock, 16 years in the past with a young Osha and May. And what's that in the woods? Why, it's Master Soul creeping around with his new, <laughs> with a new wig that indicates uh -huh. he's clearly he's younger. Young, clearly he's got younger. a tight uh -huh. crop, he's got no wrinkles mm -hmm. on his face. Mm -hmm. So you got good. the, just the curls. Peeping, just peeping at children in the woods, no problem <laughs> there. No, no. no creepy Jedi behavior yeah, here to exactly. be found. There is like... nothing creepy about the Jedi this episode <laughs> at all. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, this episode is clearly set up for us to learn more about the mysterious tragic event that we know will come to pass, which involves fire. fire. I see fire. We're introduced to a coven of women who have a mysterious connection to the Force, but they call it the Thread. The thread. Mm. They call themselves witches and appear to have been facing persecution as they try to keep their practices and coven safe from a galaxy that sees their power as dark and unnatural. Mm -hmm. Why? It's because they're using the Force, but they're calling it a Thread. Yeah. And it's like, you must conform. <clears throat> yeah, you can't use it if you can't call it by the right name. Right? That's the rule, I think. <laughs> this feels like. It's been established. Hey, this is the Jedi said we had to call <laughs> the Force. I like the Thread better. True, true. You pull the Thread. Yeah, it makes sense. It's also, a blanket. I get it. The three fates were women. Uh -huh. who had like, you know, it's a Greek mythology where they would cut the thread of fate. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of, I feel like it's a little bit like that as well. Delicious. And I feel this is also fated with the twins. Anyway. <laughs> they are led by Mother Anasea, 
there, played by Jodie Turner Smith, who I, can I say, fantastic. She's great. Oh, yeah, great. Fantastic. Also, love great. Role. Yeah. She's great. Osha and May are the only children in this coven, and we'll later learn that they were created by Mother Anasea and brought into the world by her Zabrak companion, Mother Coral. Coral even knows that the twins are not normal children. Yeah. So then, Osha and May are being prepped for the ceremony in this coven called the Ascension. Ascension. May is eager to do the ceremony while Osha is a little apprehensive, which I would be too. For a second, I was like, are they going to jump into this cliff? Yeah, I want, I want a full detail. Are they what ascending the on a. Yeah, I was like, what does this entail? Maybe I don't want to do it either. Uh, May appears to have a stronger mastery of the thread, but Osha is looking to the stars and she dreams of a life beyond Brendock, maybe even as a dun 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 Jedi. Oh, in this family? Right? We will have a Jedi in this family! <laughs> in this franchise? A Jedi? <laughs> what? The Ascension Ceremony begins and young May eagerly takes the oath to continue the Coven's practice. Mother Anasea transfers the power to May, leaving a mark on her head and on the on one side, not the center. Yeah, not the center. Mentioned. Really miss. Well, yeah. that's because there's two of them, and one would have it on one side, and the other one would have it on the other side. We don't know. Cute. That would be That'd cute. be great if Osha showed up. It's like, why is mine on my <laughs> shoulder or like on my low back, Mom? That's not nice at all. I'm gonna regret <laughs> this. Gave yeah, Mom gave me a tram stamp. I'm gonna regret this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, uh, Osha reluctantly takes the oath, but before the power can be transferred. Our four main Jedi interrupt slicing the bridge. Uh, it's uh, our Fantastic Four, Sol, Indara, Torben, and Kalneka. Kalneka. Can we just talk about Torben actually looking like his age, 16? Age appropriate. <laughs> and it just really <laughs> yes. highlights the fact that I'm a bit miffed at the hair and makeup department. When I said they're getting like, dragged pretty hard for how they can't, years. they can't. Uh, I know that we can de-age. We can't age uh, like it with you know ILM can't make. Him they, look old or yeah. makeup? Because that was a 26 year old who was nearly yeah, bald. Who, exactly. Right. But it was, it's supposed to only have been like 16. 10 years, I thought. It's 10 years or well, 16 years? 16 maybe 16 years. then. But he's a Padawan, so he's about 16 years old. Right. So technically yeah. he'd be 32. He's 30. He <laughs> went through some shit. Hey, I, uh, have you oh, met Obi Wan Kenobi? Uh, My guy got pretty rough looking in like seven years, okay? <laughs> but he was in Tatooine <laughs> with two sons, so well, the aging makes a little more sense. This guy, he's been in a meditative state. Which really should yeah, be keeping that him been young. Keeping him no, it's wearing him down. Oh, the, the yeah. pain. Something's definitely wearing him down. My whole That's thing is if you, it's taking you out of a show, is it really the best? <laughs> maybe not. Maybe and they could have had him look the same without the brain, and no one would have said anything. Seriously. Right? Yeah, they yeah. Have, but they had to make him make he's Tommen a, look old. He's a good-looking <laughs> yeah. dude. Good he, looking when dude. when he was meditating, I don't maybe know. he pissed off the makeup department. They're like, we'll show this little brat. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the coven tries to hide the girls, but the Jedi sense their presence. They warn the coven that they're not supposed to be training children by the order of the Republic, and that they also say that the girls should be trained by the Jedi. <laughs> they, they 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 think they have a right to have. The girls be tested as Padawans. The Coven agrees to send the girls over to the Jedi for testing in the morning. Mother Anasea tries to prep the girls for trial by saying, hey, say the opposite of whatever's in your heart, uh, and we'll get these Jedi out of here. Which is uh, the antithesis of a Jedi way. Lie, lie. Right, but she doesn't want to lose <laughs> her daughters. Do, do not do not. Just try. Well, these, these, <laughs> Just lie. These, <laughs> these, these creeps in the woods show up. They're spying on their daughters. Yeah. And all of a sudden, they're like, hey, you're not allowed to teach these girls anything. We get to teach the girls. Yeah. I was hoping it was Give us the girls. Give us the yeah, girls. Yeah, yeah, I to tell these girls to fail this test, too. That yeah. was another thing that was weird, because she's like, you know the Jedi have the right to test these children, right. to take them away, unless you don't think it's as long as you have yeah, I was like, wait, what? Do you need permission? Yeah, what's going on? May is down with the coven. She wants to stay. She's all in, baby. But Osha wants to go with the Jedi, and she's really drawn by their lightsabers. She loves tech. You know, we saw her slice into the weirdo. The weird. The, oh. the weirdo. <laughs> I thought it was the widow. We are the, the widow. We are the widow. We are the wall hole. The she huge and widow. She sliced into the wound wall hole yes. and fell down the wall tunnel. <laughs> Why is there a tunnel in the wall? I don't know. <laughs> Which is? I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'll, I'll be better, I'll be better. <laughs> uh, so, oh, she's really drawn in by the Jedi. She loves all their devices, their lightsabers, all that stuff. She wants to leave with the Jedi and go do something more. Something Mother Anasea seems to be okay with allowing her to do. She's like, yeah, if you really want to, if that's your dream, we'll hear you out. But she totally was not going to let her go. No. I, I don't care what you say. But when May finds out, little Narc May goes and yells, tells to her mother on what her sister did. She finds out her sister wants to leave. She loses her cool. She threatens to kill her. She turns full omen. She says, yeah. I will kill you. Yeah. It's kind of messed up. It's and pretty it's like heavy. Before, the good and yeah. then it's like after. Uh, 
She starts a small fire, but before you know it, the whole compound is engulfed in flames, including this weird little reactor room. We'll talk about that in a minute. Thank God. Soul rescues Osha, but is unable to save May. Osha sees her mother's corpse on the ground before passing out. Not burned. <laughs> Not burned, just yeah. dead. Just chilling, just laying down. She, She's totally alive. <laughs> yeah, right? I don't know. This is CSI Jedi. Osha, Osha <laughs> wakes on the Jedi ship en route to Coruscant and is told May is gone. However, May survives on Brendock, only to find her mother and Osha gone. What the heck is going on? That's Acolyte, baby. <laughs> uh, before we get into all of our many, many big questions from this episode, uh, let's talk about favorite moments. Uh, anything that really stood out to the... Uh, stood out to you this episode you love to talk about? So uh, when I did my recaps of episode one and two, I was a little bit frustrated that uh, they're twins, but they're played by two very distinct looking girls, mm -hmm. separate girls. In this episode, I understand why. It was very necessary. So yes. I would like to rescind that statement. I get it now. That's funny. I was the exact same way. And then there was a part where when they were going to go get tested, they're like, May, you're up. And they immediately cut to Osha walking over to Kalneck. And I was like, if they were twins, I would not know who this was or what was, you know, look, older Osha has that tattoo, so right. maybe they'll be able to, we'll be mm. able to uh, distinguish them later. But yeah, you're exactly right. At first I was like, they're not even twins. And then I was like, oh, I need to know who's who and what's going on. Yeah, yeah, they no are wonder. played yeah. by real twins. Uh, actors, the young, the younger version of Osha, right? Yeah, yeah. right. Um, yeah. uh, and they have like very different personalities. You know, I, they're a little bickering. God. They're siblings. Brandon. Listen, Th that's what I think. Child <laughs> being an actress, a child is very difficult. Uh, and I, uh, I applaud anyone who's really good at it. I mean, Haley Joel Osment, Dakota Fanning. Incredible child actors. Stranger These things. children are fine. They're doing a fine Star job. Star Wars is leaning a little bit heavily into like children having to carry majority. Yes, of the I mean, story. young yeah. Princess Leia Thank had to do you. so oh, much yes. on that Obi Wan show, and I think she was really good and did a great job with what she was given. These two girls are doing a great job. Their bickering just felt really fake to me. And I was gonna it, say it really skeleton crew's coming out, and that's all. That's kids. all kids. That's all and, kids. And Jude Law, yeah. So that's uh, what about you, Tom? Any big favorite moments from this episode? Uh, this uh, this one had a lot of like smaller favorite moments for me. I liked I liked seeing um, you know Saul being maybe the you know the the Jedi with a cooler head who's maybe actually good, and maybe we'll get to see the other Jedi not being so good because yeah. this whole show has been highlighting the Jedi at the height of their powers, and yeah, they're not really nice people and they, they kind of uh, take advantage of people, mind tricking everybody all the time. Yeah, they're snuffing and, out smaller religions. I right, really yeah, appreciate exactly. that very so, much. Um, I, and I like getting to see, uh, you know, what happened. I mean, uh, the, the, stick the landing on that, and maybe not yeah. so much, but um, yeah, I just liked getting to learn more about the characters, but I'm having a hard time thinking about one standout. Oh, one thing that was uh, I thought was gonna happen was really funny is when they said, just say the opposite that's in your heart, right? And I was hoping it would backfire and like, <laughs> And then, uh, so they come up, oh, sure, are you ready to take the test? She'd be like, no. no. And it's like, okay, do you want to wait? Do you, no, do you yes? want a cup of water? Yeah, want a cup of water? No. It's like, Juice. <laughs> you know, whatever, yeah. No, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm, oh, no. yeah, I was just, I was like, what is what going Yeah, when do we stop what are we gonna doing the do? opposite day? Yeah, thing? exactly. Uh, uh, cute. I really liked bald Kelnaka shaving his head. <laughs> you ah, didn't so like creepy, that. So creepy, so creepy. I got a lot to say about that. I like, do we need more bald people in Star Wars? I'm just saying. You know, Tom and uh, Torben, I was like, you need to go all the way. Just commit, dude. Like, yes, yeah, just commit. Yeah, just halfway commit. there. Yeah, exactly. You're halfway you're when, when we did, there. Yeah. When we saw Torben's little braid, I was like, oh, he's a Padawan. He's got his braid. He's got his braid. Yeah. Yeah. I called him a Padawan. Cute. I also <laughs> like that dark magic they did on him. Ooh, I like that. Oh, yeah. Uh, that was cool. That was cool. Yeah, yeah. We'll talk more about our uh, favorite moments and questions about the episode but first we want to thank our sponsor today including nerdriot.shop you've heard us mention them before you can grab some merch at nerdriot.shop like this cool break room hoodie uh tom's rocking an old school original piece oh, yeah. this is from mandalorian season one this is Guys, the way. can't even get this good stuff anymore but we're always throwing up new designs over at nerdriot.shop uh tons of different fandoms we got deadpool merch we got x-men 97 merch we might have some house of the dragon merch coming this Ooh. summer uh, uh other merch options tons of fandom it's not just shirts it's hoodies it's mugs it's notebooks all sorts of stuff and picking up merch is the best way to support all three channels in the new rockstar network so head on over to nerdriot.shop get yourself something nice for the summer uh thanks for supporting the channel okay let's get into our main questions uh from this for uh, from this third episode uh 
question, my first question comes to mind, these twins. Yeah. How are babies made, Who, Tom? What, You've got a baby. Where, when, why? <laughs> um, yeah, I would say that's mostly, I should, we should ask my wife. I have no idea how that happened. Tom, you have no idea how that uh, <laughs> Nope, I just woke up one day. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, oh, yeah. boy. Uh, no, it's it's interesting. I, I, I can't help but think, you know, we are talking about Anakin a little bit earlier when yeah. they're like, you know, if someone, you know, the, the one mother just carried him, and then if now this mother, Anasea, is saying that she helped create him, you know, in the comics, there was actually a, a story about, or it's it's alluded to that maybe Palpatine had influenced the midichlorians and Shmi Skywalker to help make him, but it's one of those, again, like, it, is that true? It's never is that really not? Explained, it's never really yeah. explained, but they actually, if you can Google it, you'll see the panels of it. So I'm like, oh, are they trying to say that maybe a dark side force or thread user can influence the midichlorians to create life mm -hmm. if you're strong enough or whatever? Maybe they're trying to tie into the Sith and the rule of two. And I mean, this is a coven of witches. They call themselves that. Yeah. All women from the stars, we can tell. So this is something they must have been doing throughout time. Right, and like lost the practice. ability to, or? Yeah, because because yeah. it is, Mother Anasea says, I created them. Coral is like, I carried them, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and when she's doing the ascension ceremony, Mother Anasea mentions, you know, our kind was facing extinction right. until a miracle came. And again, they're not all one species, right? right. Much like the Jedi, they, are, they seem to be women who are attuned to the thread uh, and able to manipulate it, and they've joined this coven, right? It's not just like the witches of Dathomir where they're all the same race, presumably. Right. This is a mix of species from across the galaxy. They're running, they're hiding, they're, they're on Brendock now. They've made this little base. They think they're going extinct. Oh no, I was able to make a, cut, a set of twins. Unnatural twins. <laughs> a creature of twins. Yeah. Weird twins. <laughs> uh, but is this something you think that's new? Or like, is this a practice they've always been doing? It has to be explained because there's been so many situations now that we've been referencing witches in covens that there are no men. Yeah. And yet they have lasted centuries, generations. Right. So there's something here. Now, whether it's a tapped power of either force or thread, which I think we can kind of say is all encompassing. It's just yeah. different ways of using right. it. The same power, like, but different like ways magic of Magic for the, the witches of Dathomir and stuff like that. Right? Exactly. Yeah. With a cake. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Uh, you know, if they're able to create sort of zombies, which is what we saw in um, Ahsoka. Yeah, I, this is what's canon now. So mm -hmm. I think we have to start getting answers. Now, what was really interesting is when the Jedi came, what was the first thing that uh, Tom and Padawan did? It was take a blood sample. Now, we've yeah. seen that oh, once yeah. before, and that is to do a mid midichlorian <coughs> test. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So we are getting a midichlorian count from the Jedi. And now, because there's missing panels or there's a missing storyboard or there's missing editing here, the way that this scene goes down, something happens which is so kind of dodgily done that I have to actually go back and watch it again and be like, what is happening? I think we're meant to clock that he takes the blood and they want us to forget. And I bet that's gonna come up later. I the think deal. they got the results for that. And do you remember when um, Qui-Gon kind of showed what the count right. was and yeah. everyone's like, uh-uh, Everyone's like, we can't have this kid. Abort He's this. Too, this old. Like, too old. That was another thing I was thinking about. I was like, Ocean oh, Mayor, too, way too old. And that was brought up too. Yeah. That like, uh, I, I think in I the first four. episode, yeah, yeah she yeah. said I started when I was like older. Yeah. And it just didn't work, right? Uh, yeah, the, the the blood sample thing I think is definitely going to come back later. We don't know. I don't know when they. I don't know the history of midichlorians enough to know when it was a big deal when they were aware of it. I don't I know think, if they date back to the I think there is a Republic. range. I think they will try to test younglings if their midichlorian count is between a certain threshold. But mm -hmm. anything like way above that, it right. sounds like it's an artificial manipulation of. Midichlorians because ah, there is, I like that. There is yeah. no fire. Oh, up. they know that naturally midichlorians, there could not be enough. This, oh, I like that's that an interesting a lot, way of actually. looking at it that's too. Cool. Yeah. Because that's Cause that would make Anakin. sense why Anakin's like that and why these twins are like that. Yeah. Well, in that I like moment, that. I think we are supposed to harken back to that moment in The Phantom Menace because Qui-Gon is bluntly honest with Anakin. He's like, I'm testing the midichlorians and your yeah. thing. Torben is like, oh, don't worry about it. Just a blood oh, sample. Yeah, yeah. Well, Qui-Gon was a little too on honest. He went, with... <laughs> and then, we gotta burn these bitches. <laughs> that's it, and then what happens? Everyone mysteriously dies. dies. Yeah, because yeah. she set a pamphlet on fire? Like, there was an oil lamp. Oh, I was oh. wondering, what is, is that a what I, grew, is that? I grew up in a very rural area of Florida, and we had an old kerosene lamp. Oh, oh, oh. In no, the I mean, what was, which was, what was the what was what did the lamp burn? What did she set on fire? That's what like, I think, okay, it looked like a book or? silver leaf. To me, like a, that was, a okay. Pre-Jedi so, logo almost? That was a book, yes. Logo? I took that to be as like, 
That was Osha's diary. And she uh, was drawing things and she drew like a Jedi symbol. Sure, sure. And she was like, I'm definitely taking this with me. Osha catches it, or May gets it. It's the most flammable material ever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Immediately ignited. Immediately. Uh, but I think that thing she had was like an oil lamp. Yeah, yeah, the and one then, like, that she set the she fire. She spills yeah. the oil and that's catching on gotcha. fire. Gotcha. So, we needed yeah. to see that. Well, I think we're supposed to not see how the fire spreads. Because there's, starts, we're missing because, details. Because right? Osha's being lied to that May started this whole fire. Yeah. We saw bodies that were not burned. Right, right. We that saw bodies that, that were, had, yeah. You know, you, I just those out, you can die from smoke inhalation. You can't, but I, there was, that was an open <laughs> courtyard. And if they're, if they're walking through at a, yeah. a gentle pace <laughs> and have enough time to be in, stop, mommy, mommy. Good no, point, no, good we point. have to go. Yeah, don't look too close. They might have saber oxygen. burns on them. Don't look, yeah, yeah. don't look. Yeah, yeah. And don't look at those holes. Don't worry about it. CSJI, Crime Scene Jedi Investigation. <laughs> I uh, hope the next episode starts with, <laughs> Yeah, exactly. The, the bodies dropped, they fell. Where, so something happened oh. and then they fell. Because when you see them, they were kind of drawn together. Oh. Like they rushed towards mm. someone or something. Oh. And then dispersed, but like like they'd mm. fallen. So or maybe just, they were lifted up by the force and then dropped down. Oh. We don't know. Just but I'll tell you what, times. it wasn't a fire. Yeah, it definitely <laughs> wasn't a fire that, that uh, wiped out the coven. Uh, so yeah, this idea of like, they've created these girls. Mm -hmm. It seems like to, uh, you, you mentioned uh, Jodie Turner Smith, Smith? Mm -hmm. uh, and her excellent performance, which I agree with. She's standing because out. You never, she's stand at first out. I was like, oh, she's not their real mother. Then you find out she is their real mother, but she didn't carry them. She has this weird right. distance with them. She's very like, Immediately, she's like, oh, my little sweets get whatever they want, right? Yes. yes. But it's clear that, like, she sees them as devices or, right. or toys. I, yeah. I got the impression, though, from her acting that she was going to let her go. I really I, did I get that. I think she from was going to hear, hear her out. I but think, it was this thing where it's like, you're never going to see me again. You right. need to know the impression. She tried to, like, hard decision. sell her of, like, That's you'll it. never see me ever again, which is a cold ass thing to say. So, which is it? And she's yeah. like, I still want it. And she's like, look, if that's what you really want, like, as your I, 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 I took it to be like, like she was like, just kind of placating her. I was like, it was this, so this girl's never leaving the planet. Yeah, it was so interesting because they, like, she's like, you know, you're going to, Osha, if you want this, you got to you gotta really be serious because, you know, you, you might change your mind when you grow up. You might this, you know, destiny is not written. But it's like, wait, you were about to stamp her forehead yeah. Yeah. with the ascension thing and not, and make her t make her take a pledge right. to always forever do this up an oath. So it's like, wait, so which one is it? But I actually think that she was 100% insincere and serious about letting Osha go. And I think what might have happened is, Osha, I mean, uh, May starts the fire. Uh, but while that's starting, the Jedi and the witches are fighting, mm -hmm. and b b well, so they can't stop the fire. So the fire then actually spreads. It, it, it mm -hmm. happens, and now the witches have been killed by the Jedi, and that's an unrelated situation. But the fire really was started by me. That's what I think. I mean, May started that fire in the room, but I don't believe that it. And what went exploded? Well, well, we'll talk about that oh, weird yeah, yeah, device yeah. thing later. Uh, I definitely want to talk more about that. Um, with the idea of twins and this, you know, the coral line of like, they're different, they're not natural or mm. weird. Are we supposed to map that to Luke and Leia? Are they well, are they were the, the other twins we know? They had both father and mother. Hey, I didn't see it. Uh, I saw <laughs> I saw Anakin and Padme talking. That's what happened to me and my that. kid. I didn't see it happen. I didn't see yeah. <laughs> okay, you know what I mean. When if you have a racehorse, okay. If you if you have a, a Kentucky Derby winner and you stud that bad boy out, they videotape every time they stud it out because you have to have proof. Because if you're buying a horse that's supposedly the the you know the lineage of something, you need a you need a Brandon chain has of the evidence. Best okay? like tidbits of knowledge. Okay, you need I was a chain of evidence. That I was gonna say I you need no a idea. chain of evidence. Okay, wow. I have all the video. I have all the horse videos. <laughs> Um, They're in a folder? But all I'm computer. saying is, like, we don't know uh, the full story of Padme and Anakin, okay? We, we don't do. know how it all happened. They, they, they shared a bed. They like, loved sure, each other. Yeah. Sure, Did maybe. you watch any of the Clone Wars? The tension was okay, fantastic. Fine. These guys yeah. wanted each other. They bonk. They love each other, right? But Dude. Anakin is also a master of the Force, created unnaturally. Yes. And maybe during That's his true. bonking, He's he's focusing hard enough, and he is willing the force like, to create uh, like Bastion's dad uh, from X Men. Yes, yes. It's yeah. not even that. It's I like it's not even that. Like they were conceived naturally. It's like yes, Anakin and Padme were drinking wine, making love, <laughs> dancing. <laughs> <laughs> but in in their passion, Anakin's own his oh own gosh. craziness. From also. Yeah. His own craziness created the twins, and it wasn't his natural. Craziness. Yeah. He's like, ah, he's like, ah, I never had sex before. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. 
and he thought that was just a normal and he reaction. Thought that was normal. And Padme's like, I guess this is normal. And Anakin's like, the and one time psycho. I have sex, I create twins. This is crazy. He lasers his dick off immediately. <laughs> <laughs> And then like, he blames no, 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 that's, that's in the that's in the good zone. You it's got no, not much to fuck with. We saw the fire go all over the body. The dick's gone. The dick's yeah, gone. There's no good zone anymore. Yeah, there's no good zone. Yeah. It's all bad zone. It's all zone. bad zone. Yeah, yeah. You think it was like you think it was like Palpatine? Could you please just build me a dick? And Palpatine's like, no, nah, sorry, I'm all out of metal. And he went, no. no. <laughs> I've got just a hole in a stub. <laughs> Uh, underneath my buttons. <laughs> sorry, Mike. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry, that, 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 I was going to say, back to twins, there's, uh, you know, I just remembered in Knights of the Old Republic, there was that whole arc with those two twin brothers, too. Yeah. That, and I think they were... One good, one bad? Yeah, one good, one bad also. So it's I think it's the same device. thing that, yeah. yeah, Star Wars is just leaning into. Is the... And Leslie Headland, the show's creator, has talked about kind of her idea of, like, the idea of Gemini and twins and duality Light and stuff like dark. that. Fine, it, June is month of Gemini too. Right. Oh, it all, it's all connected. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's all connected. Uh, let's move on to our next, my next big question here. Yeah, let's question? talk about the thread. I love mm. this idea. Okay, uh, Mother Anna Sam, when talking about the thread and kind of showing off how it works, she describes the Force as something people can use or wield as a weapon. Uh, very primitive, which made me think of like uh, the Jedi line of like, oh, a blaster, so primitive, right? We like an elegant light sword. No, 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 <laughs> the force is primitive, you you jerks. You don't <laughs> yeah. even know what you're doing, right? Uh, she, she describes the thread as something that binds us all together, something we've heard the force described as. But she says like, when you pull on the thread, you can change everything, mm. which is crazy. It binds you to your destiny, right? It binds you to other people. She also presents this idea of like, the power of one, the power of two, the power of many. What? It's funny that you say the power of this as well, because mm -hmm. she was denouncing it's not good and bad. Mm -hmm. That's not what thread use is. That's not what power right. is. It's how much power you can wield. And I think and that, who that wields it. And who mm -hmm. And that is the basis of the Sith right. mantra. Because they only need two people, right? Not to only, wield all well, the dark side power. Well, they they uh, they created the rule of two to, to make sure there wasn't too much competition. Sure. I think. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Otherwise, there, there were actually like tons of But even of just two of them are powerful it, enough yes. to... But if this is sort of like... Sith origin levels, um, the, the way that I feel like someone goes on the path of Jedi, right? Mm -hmm. We recognize that it is so uniformed. It is so, you know, you need to do this yeah. and this yeah. and this and you are controlled by this and, and you can't think these bad yeah. things. Right. And then as soon as you recognize that it's like, well, they're stopping you from being so much more. But what they've called the dark side, mm -hmm. if you just reframe the perspective, it's just increased power. Sure. Mm -hmm. And that's sort of like the mantra of Sith. It's like, I'm not bad. I've just tapped into yeah. unlimited power. Right. Mm -hmm. And so I think when she starts saying, you know, this whole, it's not good and bad. It's how much power and who wields it. That's I really, yeah. I really like how, so, like, you know, I think the, the way we see the force is just through the, the perspective of the Jedi and the Sith, right? right? Light and dark. But it's so much more than that, as we've seen, you know, with the witches of Dathomir wielding magic right. with a K. That's some, that's a different aspect of the mm -hmm. force. Now, this thread is a different part of the force. I like Even that. that I'm sorry, that yeah, character, yeah. I forget his name from Rogue One, who is not a oh, Jedi. Uh, Iram Ch Chewit. Yeah, uh, uh, Donnie, the, Donnie, I'm Donnie, with the force, yeah, yeah. force, force with me, with me. Exactly. which he's still calling it the force, but like he's wielding it in a way or that in, not a or traditional can Jedi would, or can right. be in sync with it. Exactly, right. it's not necessarily in the same way. And so I like how we're getting these different aspects of of the force and what it is. And I also like how you know we're we're learning, and I think in a good way that the Jedi aren't perfect in their view of it. You know, mm -hmm. even Anakin in Episode Two was like, you know, we're not allowed to. To love, but a Jedi's job is to have compassion and love everybody. Sure. But you know, so it, there, there's some flaws in their thinking. Yeah. I'm not supposed to care about anybody, but I have to care about everybody. Right. Mm. Um, so I think we're on our way to seeing maybe in, in the next few years maybe the, a new type of Jedi emerging. Maybe that's what they're gonna do in the Ray movie. I don't know. But, that's what they should do. Yeah, where <laughs> it'll be like, okay, here's what you can be as a Jedi, and you can you can have attachments. Maybe I'm not you a regular Jedi. Healthy, I'm yeah. a cool Jedi. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I on, drink. Cool I smoke. Side. I yeah, got yeah. two lightsabers. You want um, some death sticks? <laughs> <laughs> you want some death sticks? You don't want to sell me death sticks. Oh, I, don't want, I don't want to sell you. You want to go home and rethink your life. Rethink my life. Uh, what do you think of her little demonstration, right? Uh, it's just force pushing and pulling. Yeah. Well, but I, I thought it was very interesting, right? It's, she sets up with one woman while these the two girls are fight, having the worst <laughs> yeah. big bickering I've I ever was in my life. Like, that was it was very annoying, yeah. especially with the closed captioning on because we're reminding you that it was happening. I was yeah. like, bickering. Intense yeah. bickering. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was like, stop, stop, Osha, pay attention. I was like, shut the fuck up. I'm trying to learn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she, she pushes like. One woman, I love this little move. Mm -hmm. She pushes one woman back, right? 
And then the two stand up, and together they're kind of pushing against her. And they're and stronger. She, it's almost like she catches it and is holding it, right? And she put, she's able to push two. The two are not stronger against her. Yeah, that's it's why more she's that she's up. like, I've taken now. But I, well, I thought, I thought it was more like, look, I easily knocked one girl over. But uh, look, it's harder to do two. So sure, that's why, girls, did. you have to work together. But it didn't work. It's but she's Mother Anna Sam. She yeah, could she's still push out. down like five, six And then six it people. felt like she was still holding it. So I don't know if it's like a weird thing of like, uh, Mother Anna and Mother Coral know something more than the rest. They're not telling everyone, mm. and it's like they're using all of these witches to generate this power so they can take it for themselves. Uh, I actually just think it's this whole, uh, this mantra again, mm -hmm. where it's like the most powerful person has harnessed the most power. So she's still saying, you know, well, two people, it's harder right. for me, but recognizing her position as Apex in this coven because uh -huh. she is the most powerful. That and we're only stronger together, right? That's yeah, yeah. it. Now, does it. Does it have to do anything with this device? I'm calling it a reactor. I don't know what to yeah, call it. Yeah, because I kept showing it. Oh, what was it? I yeah. even stopped it and paused it, but it had the email address in Boston. Well, and it, it doesn't, <laughs> and it, it, the, sometimes like the audio descriptions on Disney Plus or closed caption will give you more insight. It did not at all, no. right? It's, it, it, it described, it did have a thing of like electrical, Electrical uh, like, whirring or something. Yeah, like that. yeah, it had like a, a noise to it and like electricity. And we're, I think we're supposed to see it later during the fire when it's really exploding and falling apart. I got it. So that thing is powers the entire place. There's one cable outside Osha's room. When the lap kerosene <laughs> lamp hits the book, it, it sparks through the tunnel. Like, dun, dun, you asked dun, why dun, there was dun, a dun, tunnel. Dun, dun, boom! Oh, the tunnel. There's always a tunnel to a reactor core. Oh, yeah, it's the it's true. Yes, that one small port right. destroys the whole Everything. place. This Confirmed. is a design 101 of the Star Wars. Exactly. It's true. It's true. Yeah. Okay, great. We've Jin or so This is the Stardust. Is uh, yeah. <laughs> the exactly. Stardust directive. This place is going to become Stardust. Right? Um, I, well, I was wondering if this thing is like, if the, the what they're calling the threat is all fake. And like this machine is like creating the power in a weird way. In a Wizard of Oz, like we're not actually witches. It's like this machine. No. I don't know. Because yeah. that, that debunks the force in its entirety. Well, not in its entirety. Mainly that like these witches can't actually access whatever the force is, but they're pretending to this device. I don't know. It just This device was weird, and I want to know more about I it. Think, I, I think it's planted for us to go back there and be like, oh, that's why that thing, it was one of those, as opposed uh -huh. to like, here's an answer to something now. Right? What if the children are the MacGuffin? and they're using the children to go onto the planet, but the whole mission all along was to retrieve data from the reactor or the The machine. Jedi's mission was really just to get what there. If? Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I have a feeling that like, when we saw the reactor exploding, again, I'm just calling it a reactor, I don't know what to call yeah, it. Yeah. When we saw it exploding, I that made me think like, oh, this is what the Jedi were here to do, was to blow this fucking thing up, mm -hmm. right? They just need to get close enough to this to blow it up, because whatever this thing is, is what they're against. Yeah. I it's will interesting, say, yeah, th uh, you know, if they, uh, the, there's four Jedi on this one mission, why would you send four Jedi to a planet? One's just, a Padawan. Yeah, okay, Two, three and a half. Why would you send three and a half to a planet if you don't already have a plan of doing something? Maybe they already heard about the witches. Yeah, because, I mean, when they yeah. showed up, right, they were like, this planet's supposed to be inhabited. And then uninhabited. So it was like, children. Was like, I don't think that's true. Yeah, why true. are you there then? Yeah, yeah. I don't, I, I don't think that's true. It's also, weird. the Jedi, don't you remember, like, on, um, when Anakin, before Anakin killed the younglings? <laughs> There's like the entire hologram of the galaxy yeah. with all the planets and they yeah. have the database and the archives and it was just Kamina that wasn't on there, you know? like. Well, it had been hidden, it had been purposely hidden. That's it. So. Somebody erased the archives memory. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, I, I do love the idea of the thread, right? And like the magic from the, which is the death mirror. This idea that like the force, we'll, we'll call it the force because the Jedi called it that, but it's whatever this is, mm. right? It's there are, there it's are more, more ways to get into yes. it. Uh -huh. The witch power. Right. And yeah. I think a part of this, what this show is, is kind of reinforcing this idea that like, the High Republic is post a Jedi Sith war mm -hmm. where the Sith were mm -hmm. killed, wiped out. And so the, the Jedi are so scared of the Sith coming back that like anyone who's fucking around with the force, they're not they're against it, right? Mm -hmm. Them showing up to these to the coven and being like, hey, you're you're doing your thing, that's fine, but you're not allowed to teach it to kids yeah. is like really fucked up, right? Like we're we're putting the kibosh on any other force messing around. We you if you want to touch authority, the force, yes. you got to get a license through us because uh -huh. we can't trust anyone else because the Sith can come back yes. and it's really messed up, right? Like yeah. that's not up to the Jedi to decide. And like, 
I, I I like that idea of like they're not they're really wrong here to be like, hey, we're squashing your religion, we're squashing your culture because it, it could potentially be too dangerous. Also, your four year old's got to come with us. You, you know, know, like that, that idea. Yeah. Soul telling him like, hey, I left my family when I was four, and I never seen him again. It's like that's fucked up, Soul. Yeah. Like, Actually, yeah, in, in the in the High Republic comics, it's funny you mention that because there's I thought that these witches before they said they were witches, I thought they were gonna be part of the Path of the Open Hand, which is a group mm. in the mm -hmm. High Republic where. They, they're similar, they're like, uh, um, and they're led by Mother, some, I forget her mm -hmm. name, but it's a group of, it's a, it's a colony where they believe that no one should use the force, good or bad. Okay. They, so they're, they're, they are related to that where they're like, we want to stop anybody from using it, and they become an antagonist to the, mm -hmm. the Jedi and everybody else. So it's interesting that in this time, we have a lot of other people who, have, who want to have a say in who wields and doesn't yeah. wield the force. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it, it eventually okay. leads them to the point of, yeah, like, they're taking kids away from people. They're separating yeah. from their families, being very strict. You can't love. You can't do Like, I really want to know, would they have been like, Osha, do you want to come? Like, you know, and then she, if she said no, would they really have left her there? Oh, that's a great point. I she was really like, don't think so. Yeah. They were, if someone what, says no, are they what like, What Trinity was okay, saying. Cool. So she's like, we don't steal children, but if we get to test her, and if she is, a, we, we get to train her if she is. It's like, does that mean you get to take her away? Well, no, because don't you remember she said, with your permission, of course. Well, yeah, yeah exactly. she threw that in. Yeah. She's like, the Jedi have a right to test Padawan. We will do it. With your permission, of with course. With your permission, yeah. of course. Yeah. Like, really mess up. And like, see you tomorrow. Yeah, the Jedi kind of like leaning on the Republic, being like, the Republic says you guys can't do this anymore. And it's like, well, who cares? Like, yeah. you know, we're not part of the Republic. We're in the we're outer rim. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, if you remember with the, the Clone Wars as well, it was a big topic in that where the rules and confinement of being a Jedi mm -hmm. became too much. And of course, anyone who stepped outside of it, it was sort of, they were either arrested or taken care mm -hmm. of. But it was yeah. like, you couldn't step outside of it. And then people started betraying the Academy and they were like, you know, they were switching sides and they were yeah. informants all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. And this happened because of the type. Yeah, their, their crazy, like, ideology towards the Force will lead to them being like, hey, 14-year-old Padawans, right. you get to be generals in the military. <laughs> yeah. And it leads to, like, Ahsoka having, like, PTSD, right? Yeah. Because as a kid, she was, like, killing p killing clones and killing robots and doing all this crazy shit. Like, or Barris, who wants to, like... Uh... Who has to? The only way she can get be heard about how yeah. how corrupt the Jedi have become is to actually bomb the place, yes. right? And yeah, yeah. Barista, yeah. Co barista coffee. Barista coffee. Barista coffee. Uh -huh. I, I just realized that's, that's the, the that's root how of I her, name. her name. Ah, oh, that must be it. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Well, they're on a great path, Jedi. Great, great work. You're really doing great. But yeah. I feel like that makes sense. Like, the, obviously, like the more you try to control mm -hmm. something, the more people. Yeah, the more you're creating your own enemies. The more right? you want to rebel. Oh. oh. Isn't mm -hmm. it interesting that the rebellion oh. were the good guys? So, oh. from a certain point of view, let's oh. just say that. From my perspective, it's the Jedi who were bad. <laughs> I well, then you really are lost, Brandon. <laughs> you were the chosen one. You are my brother. <laughs> I they, loved you. They cut that line out of Rogue One, right? It was in the trailer where she was like, you're rebels, right? Rebel. <laughs> that was like my favorite line in the trailer. It didn't make it I the forgot, movie. No, I forgot out about that. Like, I remember I'm pretty sure that. They did. Rebel. Rebel. Yeah. Didn't they cut that one out? I think they might. Yeah. They cut out a lot. You're rebels, right? Rebel. <laughs> <laughs> Got him, Jin. Got him, Jin. Got him. dead now. <laughs> well, what an episode, folks. Yes. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm still in on this show. I'm yeah. really liking the mysteries. I do I have want to know more. I like the slippery slope. We're watching the Jedi slide down. I'm starting to develop, develop a little bit of a gripe with the storytelling in this show. Mm -hmm. It is very heavy-handed. All the information you're supposed to know, you know it. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like there's much wiggle room at all. I don't know what that reactor is. And anything you're not supposed to know... You're not supposed to know, but there is in no way an art form of putting pieces together and having us, the audience, map out that puzzle. Mm. I feel like it's yeah, it's, it's a little too spoon fed. It is, yeah. it is or maybe the spoon, spoon fed, fed is is a trick, and maybe it's we're really missing fork. something uh, darker. Like why Use is Cal the fork, Luke? Use the fork, Luke. <laughs> the biggest thing we need to focus on is Kalnaka shaving his head every morning <laughs> to show his gross. Scalp. Use his lightsaber. Now, can you be honest? How uh -huh. much of it is jealousy? It's all a little jealousy. Okay. I love all that hair. Because baby. you've nearly got it. I'm a bit of a Wookiee myself. He's got the inverse of what you've got. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you just want to know his routine. I want to know his routine. I want to know his shave routine. Who's yeah. he going to? You were like, is he doing himself? Is Tor does Torbit? Is that a Padawan's job? Like, 
<laughs> I'd make Torben <laughs> shave me, dude. Maybe that's why he's like, I'm not gonna cut my hair when I grow up. Torben, it's time for the shaving. Yeah. Nothing to no, do with hair ever no, again. Exactly. You got so much complaining this time. I'm gonna let my five me. beard hairs and my, you know, You just wait. When I'm old enough, I'm gonna have a cool little Van Dyke going here and some muck shops, and I'm gonna be bald here. I'm gonna have scars. And a I'm gonna leave face. it all alone. Yeah, yeah I can't oh, wait to watch old. Torben get his scars. How I was gonna say, yeah, we saw that happen. We saw that. You wanna know how he got the scars? <laughs> nice. Um, does the story change every time as well? Yeah, it does. What I, I what I do really want to know, though, obviously Soul is not in the loop. Yeah. He has been left in the dark of the light, mm. uh, apparently, uh, of this situation. So something's happened where everyone else knows what mm. went down. Now, Soul is busy saving, trying to save May right. and right. absolutely saving Osha. You're talking so in present time or, or in the in past? In that past, he was saving the, the girls. Right. Obviously, May dropped... Um, he was able to save Osha and brings her back. So he's separate, for, mm -hmm. he's separated from mm -hmm. all the others. So what are they doing? Yeah, yeah. I, I think Saul is up to something. Yeah, I don't, I don't think he's completely altruistic myself. I, do. I think maybe I don't he, think knows. he knows. What's really? I don't think. Okay. I, I think either he doesn't know what's happening or. He knows, but he wasn't part of it. Yeah. And he's he's carrying the lie mm. because he wants to protect or take care of it. One of those kinds of or things. Or he's protecting yeah, the agree. Jedi. I don't think he was brain. part of it. But yeah, why? he wasn't part of whatever happened no. to him. And you know, you become was, complacent uh, by you know not saying anything. Right. right? Yeah. But I mean, the Padawan knew. Why are they bringing a Padawan into this? Wouldn't that? But wouldn't they protect the young, the younger one? He's already one? keeping well, the he, secrets he, of. He already got stuff, an eye scar, so, so that he's probably, probably like, hey, if you want, like, let, let's 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 keep yeah, this maybe secret. Yeah, keep your other them. eye. Yeah. They're like, yeah, keep your <laughs> yeah. mouth shut. Uh, uh, we don't know. So, uh, but we're not supposed to know right. yet. Not, right. Not and yet. You right. guys heard in um, Eric's big video about this series. He got some inside scoops. Apparently, episode five. Yeah. Is the big reveal. It's the episode that packs a punch. I'm excited. So. And John, how many say that were? Five out of eight. Eight. Eight, eight. eight, eight episodes for this eight. series. Eight. So, we're, so we're almost, almost halfway, halfway through. Yeah. Next week will be halfway through. Mm -hmm. um, we'll see how it's all coming together. Um, as we do each and every week here on the After Show, we like to highlight some of our favorite things. Uh, and for this series on The Acolyte, we're going to call out our A list alien. So this could be anyone uh, on the side that you really enjoyed, you know? We have our main characters, we love them, we get to know them. Was there, was there a standout little side character you really enjoyed this episode? For me, it was Mother Coral. I got a big kick out of Mother mm. Coral. Mm. I like what she was like, <laughs> she, was mad. she was mad. No uh, spice cream for you! <laughs> <laughs> she was mad at Osha, when like Osha couldn't do like the force thing, she was, or the thread thing, apologies. Yes. If she couldn't do it, she was like, Osha, you're supposed to be better at this. Yeah, I'm I was so like, disappointed. She was pissed, she had to carry these girls around, I assume in her womb? Do Zabrax have wombs? I don't know. Maybe she has uh, a back womb and she had a She just said I carry well, them. Well, they're uh, aliens. We don't know. We don't yeah. know. We don't know. So I really got a kick out of Coral. Yeah. What, what's the one. Mother Teresa uh, alien? Oh, that's yeah. right. <laughs> who, who is that? It's a lie. Like, why is she in charge? She's the lady. That's, that's right. it. But they yeah. had to like fully CGI for a line of dialogue. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that co-star is impressive. I was yeah. wondering if she was supposed to be, I mean, I know she's bigger. She gave me like Maz Kanata vibes. I got Maz right? Kanata vibes too. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, there's yeah, that idea. Yeah. There was this idea, right, way, way back in Star Wars fandom, before we learned so much more, that Yoda, being like 900 years old, was maybe a human, right? And if like a human lived to 900, right. is that what you would become, right? Now, I don't think that's true anymore. They've been to <laughs> Yaddle. Well, because Yoda and his species, we know the least about, yeah. right, in the Star Still, Wars universe. Even, even call, though they've yeah. been, been there since fucking episode five. We know so little about them. We don't know what right. planet they come from. We don't know. We've only ever met Yaddle, and now we have Grogu. Grogu yeah. But Grogu is probably a little, little test tube baby himself, right? We don't know what's right. real. Uh, uh, the idea that like uh, Yoda could be a human that just be whatever uh, <laughs> is Mas Kanata like an older, older, older version of like this species, and like yeah. you just get smaller and weirder as you get age. Yeah. I don't know. They had she was a weird little character. Different body shapes. I, I think guess. it was just the know. face that was somewhat similar. S somewhat similar. But yeah. I did get the same kind of vibe. So like maybe it was a voice too, or yeah. something like mm. that. Yeah. It seemed yeah. Very similar. But I just think the randomness of it all is why it yeah. gets the spot. It came out literally, and it was yeah. Not, she was, was just there. Came the and end. went in thirty seconds. Like yeah. not even. And that was like how much dialogue. of their budget for that? Like well, if they lie. Exactly. <laughs> What's the point of that? What about you, Tom? Did you have an A-list alien this episode? <laughs> you know, I'm gonna go with Kalneka because we, fair, we need more bald uh, Jedi in, uh, right. in, in, so in right. and also bald uh, heroes in media. Okay, yeah, yeah. Jason Statham and The Rock. I mean, that's that's it. That's all we that's got. Pretty you know, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Pretty good. 
I'm just jealous I'm not a Jedi. See, there, I said it. There. I just want to be a Jedi, but I can't probably because I'm not, I don't have my three-fourths haircut like Tom in bed. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Uh, well, that's it for this episode of The After Shoe. Mm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Do it. No, use that. <laughs> you should see the before shoe. The before shoe. Uh, <laughs> well, that's it for this episode of The After Shoe. <laughs> <laughs> Now that it has that to one stay was on purpose. Now it has to stay in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it for this episode of The After Show. Make sure to subscribe to the Break Room channel right here on YouTube and give us a follow on Twitch where we do these videos live. Uh, Tom, where can they find you on the internet these days? Uh, you can find me at uh, Tom on the Mic on all the places uh, or at your local cantina, you know, just having a fuzzy tauntaun. This is some Max Rebo. Oh, chilling. Baby, love a little jizz. Yeah. Love a little jizz. Uh, it... Making love, all those great things. <laughs> they have retcon jizz. I know. They, they have? Yeah. yeah. How dare they? I know. I don't want to call Wait, what is it called now? Oh, as if we're going to call it it's, anything. It's called uh, Jaws. Now. <laughs> What's it called? Spunk? It's called Gooey Spunk. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Bob, where can they find you on the internet? Spam. Spam? Mod, where can they find you on the internet? Don't. <laughs> Leave Mod alone. Leave Mod alone on the internet. Whatever you do. Be uh, nice in the comments. But do let us know what was your favorite part of the yeah. episode. Who's mm -hmm. your favorite alien so far? Do you think the show's getting better, worse, or the same? Do you have any gripes? Let us know. Um, what would you look like in a flashback scene? Cool, well, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Were you a hair long hair? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, shaved head? What would you yeah, look yeah. like? Yeah, yeah. How Let different do you look in the past? Yeah. Uh, be sure to follow <laughs> at Break Room and R on Instagram, Twitter, Threads, Twitch, wherever you can find us. We'll catch you next time. Late as Gators. Pull that thread. Goodbye. Hadouken! <laughs>